Hey everybody, this is G3 Farms. We had a forum member uh, write in saying they wanted to see how BVAC was made and how to use one. This is the Robo style BVAC. I made it about three years ago, uh, mainly out of just some scrap lumber that I had laying around. I had very little invested in it. Works great for me. I've done many cutouts with it, collected a few swarms with it. I can't compare it to any other BVAC. This is the only one I've ever used. Let's take a look at it. Starting off with the bottom down here. It's the bottom hole right here. This is where the bees are going in. It has a slanted bottom board. Next is your hive body. This can be a deep, a medium, or shallow. This is for built for 10 frame equipment. You can build it for eight frame or even five frame. Next is a cutout shim. It has a piece of number eight hardware cloth in it. I'll show you how to use that in a minute. And the top ratchet strap on the side to hold everything nice and tight together. Down at the bottom down here is some two hole conduit clamps. Uh, very handy. Uh, you can put your ratchet strap in there that way you don't have to fish it underneath every time. Works out a lot better. Let's break this thing down and see what it looks like inside. Take your ratchet strap off. Here's your top consist of a sliding board. Your sliding lid here, this is made out of 3 8 plywood. The rest of everything else is made out of 3 quarter inch pine. And your sliding lid here, uh, like I said, is made out of 3 8 plywood. I took some more 3 8 cut little squares and put on here. These holes are approximately uh, two and a half inch. I use two and a half inch shop vac hose you can buy at any uh, big box hardware store. This was a piece of plexiglass that I had laying around. I use it to regulate how much vacuum pressure we have. It just opens and closes. I find with the shop vac I use about halfway open is perfect for me. This is the uh, top that the sliding lid runs in on the bottom side. This is just aluminum window screen. You could use number eight hardware cloth. That's what I would recommend. Uh, I've poked a couple of holes in there with something, repaired it with some duct tape doesn't bother me. Bees don't seem to care. Weather stripping all the way around. Uh, two reasons. One is if uh, you have some uh, your woodenware is uneven, have some rotten corners in it or whatnot. It helps to make a better seal, especially if you're using a low horsepower shop vac. But the biggest reason I like about it is, is when you put the weather stripping on there and you put it all together, it won't slide around. It's pretty well stuck in place. This is your cutout shim. This one's about an inch and a half tall. Has a piece of number eight hardware cloth in it. It will slide back and forth. This is just a standard deep hive body. Uh, I like to put old comb in it that gives somewhere for the bees to stand. It's after you suck them in. If you don't have drawn comb, that's fine. At least put some foundation in there. Give them somewhere to stand. Empty frames. They don't have anywhere to stand. This is your bottom board. Uh, again, I have about a two and a half inch hole diameter for my shop vac hose. This is where the bees get sucked in. You can see this board is slanted. The bees come in and they can walk up this board right here and up into your drawn comb or your foundation. Everybody always asks, what's the dimensions? What's the dimensions? I don't know. This is the same size as a hive body. If you're running 10 frame hive bodies, same dimension. 8 frame hive bodies, same dimension. 5 frame hive bodies, same dimension. Here's another BVAC I made for 5 frame equipment. Works great. Same identical setup. This one's made out of plywood. Got it off a job site they were throwing away. Same thing. Now let's build it all back up. Got our bottom board. Deep hive body. Could be deep, medium, shallow. Cut out shim. Top with her sliding lid. A 
hook her ratchet strap up to her conduit uh, straps. Strap everything down, be back is ready to go. I've worked off of uh, extension ladders that are leaned up against a house or a building where my shop back hoses were too short. Tie your rope right here around it, hoist it up, tie it up on the ladder, up high. Same thing with your shop back. Shop back I run is an old Sears Craftsman, five horsepower. Uh, they do make shop backs now that you can take the vacuum motor off and place it. You'll have to build this a little different right here on your lid, but it will go on your lid, making everything a little bit more compact. This is the hose from the from the shop back. It goes into the top. Your other hose goes into the bottom board. This is what you suck up your bees with. You can use these crevice tool attachments. Just remember when you choke down the size from big to little, you may have to adjust your vacuum pressure right here just a little bit. You want just enough to get the bees into the hose. You don't want to suck them up real hard like you're trying to suck up a lot of water off the floor. You'll end up you'll have dead bees. Trust me. Now, about the cutout shim, how to use it. All right, we're going along doing our cutout, vacuuming up bees, cutting out our comb, rubber banding it into frames, rubber banding our comb into frames. We get all our comb out. Brood comb is all we're after. Let's just say we've got uh, five frames here. You want to fill up this box full of frames, whether they're empty frames, frames of the foundation, or what have you. If you don't, start down the road, these frames will go sideways and fall out. Big mess. It's just so much easier to stick empty frames down in here. These are frames I've got ready, got some rubber bands on them. Waiting for a cutout call. Ready to go. So now we have all of our brood comb in. Cutout is complete. And we want to reunite our brood comb with the bees that we vacuumed up. And what I like to do, I just use a rag. Uh, you can make another little sliding gate down here on this other hole. I just take a rag, pull this hose out. The bees can't come out because they're still vacuum being pulled on them right here. Take your rag, stuff in the end right here, and at the same time, pull this one out. That'll kill the vacuum. Now, we have our vacuum bees trapped in our hive body. Take your ratchet strap off. Take your top off. The bees can't get out because of the number eight hardware cloth. It's right here on the top. Take your brood combs, put back on top. And at this point, you can either do this at the job site or wait till you get to your bee yard, either one. If you're at the bee yard, you can go ahead, put on an inner cover, top and you're done come back in a couple days and get the bottom off if not slide your lid out put your top frame on it has the screen wire on it let's get everything buckled back up right here strap down for the ride home Be very gentle when you're pulling this out. Bees will be stuck to the bottom side of it. So as you pull this out, just pull it out slowly and just a little bit. Before long, you can watch. Bees will start coming up in the top. They'll come around to the side, up behind the screen, and start standing on this brood comb. And you'll be able to see them up here in this screen. This time, your cutout should be finished. Uh, just every little bit, just come by. Try to ease this out just a little bit more. And uh, you can start picking up your tools, repairing the house or structure, whatever you're doing. 
that gives you time to let the bees come up. That's how this uh, this works. It's a beautiful thing. Works great. The only thing I do not like is the cutout shim. I used it one time, and it's my fault that I don't like it. I've cut my slot right here too big. So when I get my screen wire pulled all the way out, this is big enough for bees to get out. I wasn't thinking. This needs to be small. Just enough for the screen wire to slide through, or bees will get out. And vacuum bees are usually pissy bees. Well, I think that's about all I've got on the shop back. If you've got any questions, just shoot me a PM. I'm going to post this on the forum. Uh, ask questions there. This is, a, like I said, the five framer that I made. I pr much prefer the 10 frame unless you have a very small swarm or a very small cutout. That's about all I've got. Thanks for watching. And I hope you can build you a BVAC and everything goes good for you. Happy cutouts. See ya.